All right, so now we're entering chapter nine, fuel metering systems. So you're gonna have a total of 98 total questions. I'm gonna go ahead and divide that into 10 parts, approximately 10 questions per part. So let's get started. Question number one, mixture control position. Mixture control position. So what factor is not used in the operation of the aircraft gas turbine engine fuel control unit? It's the mixture control position. Mixture control position. Number two, increase direction. Increase direction. Increase direction. So in order to stabilize cam springs and linkages found within the fuel control, manufacturers generally recommend that all final turbine engine trim adjustments be made in the increase direction increase direction number three set aside rpm and maximum speed at epr set aside rpm and maximum speed epr set aside rpm and maximum speed epr so when trimming a turbine engine the fuel control is adjusted to set aside rpm and maximum speed epr set aside rpm and maximum speed epr number four adjust a standard hydromechanical fuel control unit to obtain the most effective engine operations adjust a standard hydromechanical fuel control unit to obtain the most effective engine operations so an electronic engine control also known as an eec is a system that receives engine operated information and adjusts a standard hydromechanical fuel control unit to obtain the most effective engine operations. Number five, develops the, com the commands to various actuators to control engine parameters develops the commands to various actuators to control engine parameters so a fully authority electronic engine control a full authority electronic engine control so a full authority eec is a system that receives all necessary data for engine operations and develops the commands to various actuators to control engine parameters develops the commands to various actuators to control engine parameters number six causes an immediate rever reversion to control the hydromechanical fuel control unit causes an immediate reversion to control the hydromechanical fuel control unit so in a supervisory EEC, any fault in the EEC adversely affects engine operations, causes an immediate reversion to control the hydromechanical fuel control unit. In a supervisory EEC, any fault in the EEC is adversely affects engine operations, causes that an immediate reversion to control the hydromechanical fuel control unit. Number seven, ensuring turbine blade to engine case clearances are kept to a minimum by controlling case temperatures. Ensuring turbine blades to in engine case clearances to be kept to a minimum controlling case temperatures. An active clearance control, an ACC, a portion of the EEC system, aids turbine engines effect by ensuring that the turbine blade to engine case clearances are kept to a minimum by controlling case temperatures. Ensuring turbine blades to engine case clearances are kept to a minimum by controlling the case temperatures. Number eight, fuel-specific gravity setting. Fuel-specific 
gravity settings. So what should be checked or changed to ensure the validity of a turbine engine performance check if an alternate fuel is to be used? The fuel specific gravity setting, a fuel specific gravity setting. Number nine, so obtain a true temperature reading comparable to that of the air that enters the engine. Obtain a true temperature reading comparable to that of the air that enters the engine. So prior to performing the engine trimming, you should obtain a true temperature reading comparable to that of the air that enters the engine. Prior to performing an engine trimming, you should obtain a true temperature reading comparable to that of the air that enters the engine. Number one, number 10, false high compression and turbine discharge pressure. False high compression and turbine discharge pressure at a subsequent low trim at a subsequent low trim. So an aircraft should be facing into the wind when trimming an engine. However, if the velocity of the wind blowing into the intake is excessive, it is likely to cause a false high compression and turbine discharge pressure and subsequent low trim. Once again, Aircraft should be facing the wind when trimming an engine. However, if the velocity of the wind blowing into the intake is excessive, it is likely to cause a false high compression and turbine discharge pressure and subsequent low trim. Number 11. Oh, take your first quiz and I'll see you soon.